Hello, welcome back to another episode of Madness. Anyway, got another guest today. Let's cut straight to. <coughs> Let's cut straight to it. I've got grease stuck in my throat. Cats and blunders and blur. Hmm, huh. Hey! How do you do? It's cats. Bloom and bloom and couldn't make the day. You know it's ill. I'm joking. I just don't have no friends. <laughs> anyway, it's finally on. So, you want me to talk about me digger? Well, I'm here. Well, I'll tell you, Leo. I'll tell you. Don't worry about it. Well, we're all right there, you know. We talk about how, how audiences, how the audience choose, choose the, to the film, the media, choose the media that, that satisfy their needs. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, well, this is four. One, two, three, four. Four categories. You have the information. It's where they, they use it to, to, to educate themselves, to, to, you know, self-education. Find out things. Find out about the world around us, you know. About our hero, Conor McGregor. Anyway, moving on, we got personal, personal ide identity. It's where they look to find themselves through, through relating characters or their behaviors or the traits or the values of one another. If you get what I mean. And then there's more, there's more to this. There's integration and social integration. Integration is the idea that we look for self belonging in the world and identifying others with it. And there's also the idea of connecting with people around us. Like family members and friends and are looking to bond. What if it's Scottish then? To bond relationship. <laughs> I'm terrible about these actions. I'm sorry. Don't worry. And then we move on to entertainment. This is where we look to escape the world we live in. Oh, like when Carl McGregor knocked Nate Diaz at and then with the Mayweather fight. But don't worry about that. Conor McGregor's gonna fight him again. He's gonna beat him in the octagon. He's gonna go, and he's gonna go, Conor McGregor champion. Anyway, Conor McGregor. I think I'm done here, and I Leo. Is there any more you want me to talk about? Well, what a guy. You can leave now. Get out of here, man. You have enough air time. It's all about me now, because you know this is my show. Anyway, I'm going to talk about his fear and how it matches to my film. So let's begin. So, what I believe is that I think audience, I think we should mainly aim for uh, people, for information and, and for entertainment reasons. So, for the information side is that I want people to talk about this. I want two people to talk about this idea. I want people to know more about it, about this idea. Is that should prisons be tested on? I don't, not even that. I think people should know more about animal being tested on. Is that even right? And is it even even more, is it, should it be even more right that we should test on humans instead. I want people to realise the more of the human value of, of everything. And uh, and especially I want people to be more informed about paedophiles. Especially I want to be, be more ed educated on the idea of anyone could be a paedophile. Well, we say that anyone could be a paedophile. But yeah, anyone well, anyone can be really be a paedophile and that. I want people to do, look more at the causes of it. And because I've done a lot of research myself about it, about paedophiles, uh, like the, the causes of it. Uh, so the, why why it happens to them? And it's not just because oh, I love a kill to this. There's a lot more to it. And to be honest, at the end of the day, non non uh, non offending paedophiles at the end of the day they're humans just looking for help. And a lot of them don't want to do it. And I just think people should be really more educated about it. And especially for the entertainment side, people want people want to be entertained. I went because it's so it's drama. It's realistic. It's like the real world and. I want people to be entertained, drawn into this. It's like, oh, is this really happening? Is this, could this happen? Is, what, like, we, we could be happening right now without us even knowing. And, and I think people should be really hooked onto the idea, and especially be entertained and taking out the world we live in and look into this perspective of it. So, yeah, I think it's pretty, uh, pretty juicy, if you ask me. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, probably some more episodes coming out soon. Hope you enjoy them as well. I'm your boy, Leo. I've had uh, them two lot over there on. Well, the other one's gone. Peace out.